Now that we have everything set up, our account is set up on GitHub, we, we installed the SSH key and we have all the applications installed on, 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 this, uh, on the machine, we can actually go to the next step, which is essentially creating our own private repository so you can cl collaborate with me. If you have any problem with anything, then we can actually uh, um, work with it. So what do you do uh, is this, you're going to go to your GitHub account and you are going to create a private repository and this is part of workshop zero that I was talking about so we're gonna go github.com and then uh, you open your github account and then you simply either click on a create repository over here if you have it if you don't have that one over there m bring the menu uh, the, the right menu down and you can click on your repositories and then you can click on new it doesn't matter they all work perfectly so I'm gonna click on new over here for the repository name, put a name that suits, so actually put this name exactly, I want the name that you create for your repository for, for this semester to work to be this. If you are in OOP 244, type 244 works, okay, or OOP 244, OOP 244 works and create this one. If you are in OOP 345, type OOP 345 works. So this is going to be the repository. So I'm going to put 244, and if you are in 345, put 345. Set it to be private, and you're going to add git ignore for C++, and also add a readme file, and that's it. You can put some kind of a description over here, it doesn't matter, and click on create repository. So this will create the repository for you right over there. Immediately after doing this, add me as a collaborator to it so I can access it too. So what happens over here, you're going to click on setting and after clicking on setting, then uh, come to manage access. So you click on setting, manage access, and then you're going to click on add people. Type over here Farlad and the first thing that's going to come up over here is probably mine. So Fardad Soleimano and that's my image. So click on that one and click on add Fardad to this repository. This will send me an invitation and I will confirm this. So over here it says pending invite but if I open my uh, uh, email as you see from Fred Soleil F Soleima 221 an invitation has been sent to me okay and now I'm gonna accept I'm gonna say view invitation this is gonna open my local browser on my machine which is going to display the account so it's gonna say F Soleima 221 invited to collaborate I'm gonna accept the invitation and through this acceptance you're gonna uh, see that the status is going to change over here. So if I refresh this, you will see that now I am a collaborator. You can always remove me later on if you want to, but for now, I have access to this repository too, and I can help you with anything that you put in it. Now, the next thing you need to do is to actually clone this repository on your machine. So the next step would be going, uh, going to the repository, so let's go to OP244 works again. We click on that one. Then open the code down, click on SSH and copy the path for the repository. Go back to your computer, go to uh, documents where you want to have your OP244 or OP345 work. Again, right click over here in the blank area, click on git clone automatically it will be pasted over here and your load putty key is already there you don't need to change anything you click on OK and that will actually get inserted in here now your job over here for workshop 0 is to open the readme file in here and edit this readme file you can just edit it with even notepad if you want to so it says OP244 works so you're going to say over here right over here Fred Soleil's um, type over here uh, name Fred Soleil and 
because it's a private thing you can put your information over here so when I actually need to see your information and see what is your student number and stuff I can actually see it so put it's a private repository nobody have access to it so you can put your information over here and you can put over here student number 999999999 and uh, actually you can actually uh, just write it as an uh, as an HTML it's it, or or just put a dash beside it like this that's the best way and in here you write Seneca email and in here put your Seneca email and you save it so that is saved okay the next thing you are going to do in here so as you see now it's changed okay the next thing you're gonna do you are going to submit this so you're gonna you are going to actually add this thing to what we what we have but before doing that before doing that go to the notes that you have copied and copy the git ignore from there copy and paste it into the op244 or op345 works paste it over there what it does what git ignore is it actually tells to git to ignore certain files to be added when you are doing so uh, and and if you look at this let me open it with uh, notepad you will see I added all the visual studio things that are unnecessary to go to be kept debug directory IPCHX anything that you have over here that is unnecessary it's gonna be just kept over there so you add that one the next thing you're gonna do over here is to create um, uh, uh, a, uh, a solution and add a C++ code for me and this is for OP244 and OP345. I want it to be done. So you are going to uh, open Visual Studio. On your Visual Studio, create a new project. which is going to be an empty project C++ project click on next <clears throat> make sure over here you place the solution and project in the same directory and call this one workshop 0 and place this the location of this will be in the repository you just created so you go to the repository you created OP244 and OP345 works it doesn't make any difference and uh, so if you're in 345 you do that select the folder click on create then what you need to do add a file to the source file add new item that is going to be a C++ file and call it prg.cpp click on add then in here uh, if you're in op244 and you don't know what it is just do exactly what I'm doing with absolutely no difference just just exactly type this one just type include IO stream then you will type using namespace std then write int main return zero and then in here you're gonna type for integer i set to zero i less than 10 and i plus plus write a c out statement over here saying hello I am Fred Soleil and then you write and L and semicolon make sure it works properly type uh, press control F5 control F5 runs it and executes it it's gonna print 10 times hello I'm Fred Soleil 
and that's it we close it and close Visual Studio now we are going to add this to this repository as you see this is not tracked it is in the directory but is not tracked by git right click on workshop 0 click on tortoise git and then click on add as you see you have all the stuff in that but it only adds what is necessary to be submitted the rest will be ignored because your git ignore is now updated and it's proper click on OK after it's done you immediately click on commit and you say over here submitting workshop 0 so that's gonna be submitting workshop 0 over here click on commit and push and OK this is going to push all the changes to your repository on github and click on close now if you take a look at the workshop uh, the works directory that you have you refresh it you will see that everything over here is added you have the workshop zero you have the file over here with the code that you have written and everything is set up this concludes part one of workshop zero so if you do this part one is done and that's it thank you very much